today we're going to address um, hearing loss uh, due to noise. Now you've heard this a lot, you know, noise induced hearing loss, and be careful with this and be careful with that. <laughs> and you're saying, Lisa, why? <laughs> I don't understand <laughs> how noise can affect my hearing. My ears are up here, so why a noise over there might help hurt me. <laughs> so, so let's talk about that. <laughs> Welcome everybody, you are at Hearing Loss Pathfinder, and my name is Lisa, and I do these crazy videos about hearing loss and resources that might be out there for you. So, um, hopefully my camera won't freeze. I've had some <laughs> weird issues this morning. Anyway, <coughs> hearing loss induced uh, by noise. What is that all about? Well, our hearing, our hearing organ is very small. It's about this small. <laughs> I don't know about, I don't know how ENT surgeons and audiologists work with such a small organ, but it is what it is, and they love doing their work. And anyway, <laughs> a side note from that, we have a little, and I'll be posting pictures, because this is really uh, more visual than talking. So our hearing is based on, you know, uh, you, you've heard of the, um, the coil that we have in our ears, and you'll be seeing that in some of the pictures, because uh, we're gonna focus more on that. And we have an eardrum, we have state bones, um, and those are all fragile parts of our hearing. But one of the bigger fragile pieces is that coil that goes around in our ear and then it coils out and goes into our brain. So it coils around here and then it goes into the brain. And that, that little coil brings us sound. It has hairs, microscopic hairs in it. And that those hairs are constantly moving and picking up sound and bringing it through the, the coil into our brain. Now these microscopic hair cells are very fragile and they should last our entire lives. However, due to genetics and due to noise, sometimes they can break off, die off, um, break in half, um, and start to cause some breaking up of sound. So if the, co if the hair cells are not there, there's nothing to pull it through the coil into our brain. So does that make sense? Yeah. So. Uh, for those of you who work in factories, it's really important for you to use hearing protection. For our soldiers out there, they use a lot of hearing protection now uh, versus in the past. Um, we have uh, the youth. We need to be talking to our youth about those ear pods and how loud they're listening to music. And also to young adults who are also using those ear pods and turning up the music a little bit too loud because you know, that could also impact your, your hearing. And during the summer, you know, Fourth of July with all the uh, fireworks and everything else going on, that could also impact you know, your hearing. We have soldiers who come back from war who are completely deaf, and that's because they were close to a bomb that went off and just absolutely killed their hearing, you know, and their, um, their uh, hair cells just just died off really quick, or you know the eardrum bursted. So you know you you see now how fragile our ears are and how important it is to make sure that we consider that and we protect our ears from loud noises. Sometimes it's out of our control, and we're near an explosion or some problem around us and you know our ears can be impacted by that so that's why we go to the doctor and the doctor looks at our ears and make sure that everything looks okay uh, if the doctor hears you saying what every two minutes you know there might be an issue so um, so impacts you know a strike to your head or loud noise all of that can impact your your hearing so we want to get that message out to everyone to be careful with the ear pods, to be careful with the 4th of July, 
to be careful with, you know, very loud noises in factories. If you work in a factory, if you're a soldier, make sure that you have protective headphones, um, all of that. So, because the one thing that's going to get impacted by loud, very loud noises are our ears. And if we, and it might take a little time for us to recover from a blast or from a extremely loud noise. It, you know, we might require surgery for our eardrum, et cetera, et cetera. So these are things that are really important to a message that's really important to put out there and make sure that we are protecting our ears from loud noises, from the ear pods especially, because they're very popular. And even on the ear pods themselves, I think when you're turning up the volume, it, the message will pop up, you know, beyond this uh, point, you know, could be, could be damaging uh, to your hearing. So I think we, we push for that to, to happen so that, you know, people are very aware how loud music can impact our hearing. All righty, folks, protect your ears. Keep them covered if you're going to be around very loud noises, machinery, factory work, as a soldier, uh, sometimes flying in airplanes. You know, it's good to cover the little kids' ears because they're very sensitive and flying in an airplane a lot of times. You know, that's the planes are very noisy. And I actually wear a cochlear implant, so I take them off <laughs> during the flight <laughs> if I can. Yeah, because the noise of the plane really drives me crazy. But anyway, uh, that's what I wanted to share with you today. I'm hoping that you will think ways in which you can protect your ears and the ears of your family members so that we continue uh, to uh, safeguard this generation's uh, hearing. All right. I'm glad you came. I'm glad you spent a few minutes with me to listen to this commercial, <laughs> to this message, and share with me how you plan to take care of your hearing from, from here on and make sure that you are not exposed frequently to very loud noises. All right, take care, and I certainly will see you in the next video.